Hello everybody, I'm Rob the Ranger. And I'm Duncan. And welcome to Duncan's Differences. What are we going to talk about today, Duncan? Today we're going to talk about wildebeest. Wildebeest or gnus? Not many people know, but there are actually two different species of wildebeest in South Africa. And you also get two different types of one of those wildebeest in Africa. Okay, we'll start with the South African wildebeest, which are, Duncan? Blue and the black wildebeest. So the number one difference would be? It will be the colour. The colour. Yes. Obviously, because of the names, you can see there's blue and black. So we'll start with the black wildebeest, which is the darker one of the two, and has an almost black coat. The blue wildebeest is a little bit lighter, more grey, and a bluish colour in the sun. Number two will be more down to their alternative names. The blue wildebeest is also called a brindled gnu. And the black wildebeest is a white-tailed gnu. So the brindled gnu on the blue wildebeest refers to those stripes that you can just about see on their body, the brindles. And the white-tailed gnu has a white tail. Number three, the horns. The blue wildebeest horns start at the top of the head and grow outwards to the sides. And the black wildebeest horns comes comes from the front of the head, goes forward and up. Number four, where they live. The blue wildebeest live in the, the flat open plains in the lowland regions where there's high rainfall. The black wildebeest lives in the mountainous dry areas. Okay. Number five, the herd sizes. The blue wildebeest often goes with massive herds and at least large family groups. The black wildebeest is often seen on its own or in small family groups. So that's enough of the differences between those two particular wildebeests. Now, in East Africa, you also get blue wildebeest, but they're called the bearded gnu rather than the brindled gnu that we get in South Africa. And the differences there are... In East Africa, the wildebeest have a long white beard. And the wildebeest in South Africa, their beard is more dark. Well, that's about all we have for today. Thank you, Duncan. You're welcome. <laughs> and if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, and all these other things. All those other things, all right. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You can also follow me on all the social networks with the hashtag NowFilming for live updates from Safari.